in honor of my Mandalorian action figure, which I just got a few days ago. It's looking real cool there. Um, I got the Mandalorian skin in Fortnite. But this is to set up your conditional uh, statement. So I just used a prefab barn. And I've got, let's see, an item spawner customized. I put the slurp fish in there so it'll spawn a slurp fish. I've got the conditional button uh, set to channel 1. Let's go to basic here. Set to channel 1, and um, it works with this button, which I then... Put these doors. In. Oh, that's not what I meant. Shoot. Um, which I set to start locked. It's receiving from channel one, and it's gonna unlock. So the conditional if then statement is: if you have a slurp fish, it'll unlock the door. So, hope I didn't mess it up. Well, let's try. It. Let's play the game. Alright, so I put a few, uh, a few prefab buildings, but for this one I wanted to use the barn. Where's my door? I always forget where I put the door. I put two doors. Once I can actually get in. Alright, so this one is locked. See? Can't open it. This one is unlocked, otherwise I have no way of getting in unless I put the button outside. Okay, so I go to the spawner. I spawn a slurp fish, and I guess I go here, and I use the slurp fish, which allows me to go here and open the door. I unlocked it. <laughs> and that's it. All right. I've got a victory. Now let me try that again, just to prove that I needed to use the slurp fish to unlock the door. So the if-then statement, the conditional statement, is if you have a slurp fish on the button, it will unlock the door. If slurp fish, then unlock door. Okay, so let's start the game. Didn't even need to bother landing. Alright, try this again. Woohoo! Where am I? There's my door. Okay, so again, this one's open. This one is locked. Cannot do that now. But this one I can. Come in here. Let's close that one. And can I open it this way? Nope, still locked. Alright, so... I go get my slurp fish. I use here. Which now unlocks the door. Woohoo! Go Mandalorian. Alright, that's it. That's, um, I just followed the instructions on the sheet and it seemed pretty easy. So good luck doing that. Again, if you like these, let me know and I'll put more in because they have six full lessons on six different programming techniques that you can make your own mini games on Fortnite.